Hi guys, it's Renisti. I'm here today to bring a one-of-a-kind FHM series documenting the rise of Turn Red, aka the Jamaican sensation, aka Barry McCockiner, as he goes from watching a bobsled documentary and loving winter sports randomly, to trying to get a job in the NHL, and to eventually get a Stanley Cup ring on his finger. To recap last episode, we're in the playoffs, the Central Division semifinals start now. These are our Lions heading to our first ever playoff game in this series. Let's win this. And we win game one. Let's go. We'll get on to game two in just a moment, but let's take a look at the NHL nominees. Jack Adams, DJ Smith. <laughs> That's how you know this is a f***ing video game. <laughs> Don Granado. Eh, no, but eventually maybe. And then Tom McClellan. Ted Lindsay, it's Makar Eichel McDavid. Believable. Messier Award, rather subjective, so I'm not really sure you can predict these things. Jack Hughes, Patrick Kane, f***ing cab driver guy. Are you serious right now? Okay. Selkie Trophy, no more Bergeron, so it's Ryan O'Reilly, Tavo Teravainen, and Zemgus Gergensens. Woof. GM of the Year. Yarmo Kekalainen, Kevin Adams, and Patrick Alvin. Two of those guys are European. And to the surprise of absolutely nobody, Connor Bedard is a Calder Trophy nominee. Let's actually take a look at his stats from this year. Wow. 43 goals. Impressive. Matt Coronado and Brant Clark are the other two nominees. No Adam Fantilli, no Leo Carlson. That's a bit surprising. Norris Trophy. Okay, What? Evan Bouchard, Quinn Hughes, and Shea Theodore. But was McCarr not nominated for the Ted Lindsay? The Vesna Trophy, it's Ranta. Buddy just got waved. I don't fucking think so. Connor Hellebuck, believable. And Uko Pekalukinen, I don't know about that. And the Hart Trophy, McCarr, McDavid, Eichel. You know, usually synonymous with the Ted Lindsay nominees. But yet, despite Kill McCarr being an MVP nominee, He's not even nominated for the best defenseman. Anyways, after the whole Kill McCarr bullshit melted my brain from the inside, let's just hope that we uh, take a 2-0 series lead in Iowa. That'd be huge. And we do. Oh my god. Now we're at home, not changing the lines. Don't want to do that in playoffs too much. Oh god, that's a rough one. 5-2 loss. Oh, they're back in this series. Nugget boy ahead of schedule. He could be in there for game five. All right, game four, not making any changes. I think we can still win this one. Let's hopefully go 3-1 up. And we do! OT win, baby! Who got the... Nathan Noel in OT. Also, Carson Denomi with five assists already these playoffs. Not bad. Nugget boy is back. All right, these are the lines heading into game five. We have a 3-1 lead. We could win our first ever playoff series tonight. And we don't. There will be a game six. Game six. We can win this one at home. We don't want to force the seven. Come on, guys. Let's get it done. And we win our first ever playoff series. We're into the Central Division Championship. Oh, man, that's awesome. Wow. Development report. Zachary was actually on here. I don't know if it's the first time I've seen him here, but yeah. Got a bit better at fighting. Javin Moore's getting a wee bit stronger. Greasock's getting better. Jake Woods. Yeah, happy with that. Monthly budget. We're making more money. I mean, we're into the second round. I hope we are. <laughs> nah, we don't need scouts for any of these tournaments, realistically. Okay, so this is interesting. We're going to nominate one of these 10 guys to go into the Hall of Fame. Now, Barry is referring to his assistant, a.k.a. Renisti, who grew up watching hockey and then just spontaneously started watching it maybe, what, a year before this whole season started. So for me, my one of my favorite players growing up was Patrick Elias, and I think he's a no-brainer. I think in real life he actually was inducted straight away. So... I'll just do the man justice and give him the nod. Okay, so 
We now know our second round opponents. It's the Kalamazoo Wings. They swept Cincinnati, so having to deal with our kryptonite team is thankfully out of the way. But having said that, they did sweep our kryptonite team. So these guys are clearly f***ing dangerous. Even though there was only six games instead of eight, for obvious reasons, we're going to end the episode here. I'll see you guys in the second round. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.